In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to cover the e-learning gradebook. Basically, as you create assignments throughout the semester, those assignments can be papers, turn it in papers, can be forum discussions, they can be quizzes, any of those types of assignments as you grade them and you publish the grades for the students or assign the grades to the students, those grades get populated in the gradebook. So to get to the gradebook, you go under settings here and then click on grades. Once you get to the gradebook, this is the default view, so you'll have a listing of all the students in the course, their email address, and then all the different assignments along with the grade for that specific student. So if you wanted to see specific grades just for a particular student, uh, you can simply click on this icon here, and it will display the grade for that particular student. So in a course, the first thing you need to do is the creation of the categories and items. The categories and items, I explained this earlier in the tutorial, so for more details on creating the categories and items, you need to go earlier in the tutorial and check that part of it. You need to make sure that the course, if you're using different sets of categories, for example, you have quizzes and there are six quizzes in the course, then there are papers and they have three or four papers. You have another category called uh, home assignments. All of those can be calculated accordingly in the gradebook. But the key is that the top of the course here needs to be set to weighted mean of grades. And then the subcategories, it's best to set it as simple weighted mean of grades and then you assign the score. So for example here, quizzes and class assignments, it's 25% of the final grade. Same thing for home assignments, for example, it's 25% of the grade. To create a new category, just in case you want to do this quickly, we click on add category in the bottom, and again you base this from your syllabus, you give it a category name, and then under the aggregation, make sure you choose simple weighted mean of grades because this is a subcategory of the course. If you wanted to drop anything, like as far as quizzes, the lowest quiz or something, this is where you, you drop it. And then you click on Save Changes. Now once you create, and I'm not going to go through all the categories here because there's that other part of the tutorial to do this. Once you have created the category, and for now ignore all of these different assignments, Notice you have presentations created. This is where you state what's the percentage of this category. So let's say it is 25%. This means 25% of the final grade. You may choose also to put here 25 on this number next to the category total. What that means is that the student, when they score 23.1, that means they score 23.1 out of 25, the total maximum. Or you can leave it at this 100, it doesn't matter, it's still going to consider it against 100%. But the total number of the category amounts should add up to 100 for the whole course here. And then you'd make sure you choose Save Changes. Once you have saved the changes, then you'll go to the course, or it'll take you to this view to see all the grades in the course. The next thing you might want to do is set the grade letters. So under letters here, this is the default university-wide. So 93 to 100 is an A, and 90 to 93 it's an A minus, and so on. If you want to change the scale, you click on Edit, Grade Letters, and then specify your own scale. And you need to make sure you override it first and then you specify the different boundaries for each grade letter. So I'll go back here, and of course you choose Save Changes if you're doing this for real. The next uh, thing that you might want to do in the course is under Settings here, you may want to choose the grade letter along with the score that the students scored in a quiz or an assignment or in a paper and that would be but just like here we have 10, 10 is an A or uh, this next one they scored 8 out of 10 therefore they got a B minus. So to change the settings so it displays both the letter and the score, the actual number, we go under settings and then under grade here 
under grade item settings under the grade type we choose leather and rail so it's going to display the uh, leather grade based on the criteria that we determined earlier under letters along with the real score that they scored in that assignment. So once you make that change you will click on save changes and then it will take you back to your course. Once the categories have been set up correctly and the scores and everything has been set up correctly notice that for the course total everything gets calculated automatically in the course. Now at the end of the semester it is highly recommended that you also export those grades to Excel so that you have a copy of those grades. I'd also recommend that you might even export those grades every so often throughout the semester after you have uploaded or posted the grades for a major assignment just in case something happens. We do backups of e-learning however it's best to have a copy of it also for accreditation purposes it is highly recommended that you copy or you export those grades at the end of every course and store those the Excel file in your J drive or somewhere on the network so to do that we click under export we are still under the gradebook and then in here you can choose to export the feedback as well and you can choose at least the real grades and then possibly the letter grade. Unfortunately at this point you need to do this twice. Once for the real grade and then the other one for the actual uh, grade letter. So then it's going to, these are all the assignments it's going to pick and then we click on submit. Once you click on submit then uh, it will come up with a listing of what it's going to download here. You'll click on download and then this is going to be it's going to ask you where do you want to save this. Put in a folder, give it a name, and click on Save. Once the grades have been downloaded, at this point you can choose File, Save As, and save this somewhere on the network. And that should do it. Those are some of the different aspects of the gradebook. Keep in mind, again, that um, all the grades are generated from the assignments that you create on the main course page as you post those grades for each assignment then the gradebook is populated. Keep also in mind that you need to define the categories and items and those are defined using the process that we described earlier in the, in the tutorial. If you have any questions feel free and contact me at eskoselli at Thank you.